This is Roland from Recompose. Today we're going to talk about the differences between the standalone version and the MIDI effect for Ableton Live 9 of Liquid Notes. The main differences between those two versions are the communication infrastructure that we're using to interface with the DAW. For the standalone version, whenever you open a file, like I'm doing here right now, you're being asked by the create project wizard what kind of sound output source you'd like to use. Whenever you choose from any of the sequences here being listed or choose other sequencer, the MIDI output from Liquid Notes is automatically sent on the system level to the DAW. In this case here I'm using the built-in synthesizer. Now the difference with the version is and this is where you see there is absolutely no difference between the user interface. When I fire up the MIDI effect for Ableton Live 9, the main difference there is that I can get my clips out of Live by just clicking on this button here. This is a more and a deeper integration using Max for Live, which allows us to sit a little bit deeper in the DAW. But other than that, there are no particular differences. The one thing you should know is that the standalone version of Liquid Notes comes with the possibility to load templates. This is something that the media effect doesn't come with. And there is also a feature which we call Ableton Live Import. So whenever you have a DAW that is not capable of exporting multi-track MIDI and you have to export it track by track, you can then pull in all those tracks by one go and they will be automatically combined into one track. Those are basically the differences between those two versions. Choose for yourself what is right for you. There is no major disadvantage or advantage for the other, but some people like it either, either way. Thanks for watching.